Okay, here we're starting with a unit that's low on charge. Uh, obviously, it's a high ambient. Or hand, I'll show you the ambient in a minute. Uh, Super 8 51.9. I don't appear to have any sub cool at all. The uh, temperature split across the coil is 14.7. This coil should run probably 2022. The turn air is coming back at 93. That's also the ambient for the outdoor unit. And uh, 79 uh, coming in. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to be watching the scale. I'm not going to be watching the gauge set. Not even the uh, temperature probe across the coil. I'm only going to be using this thing. Let's see how close I come to the correct chart. We're running about 450 uh, CFM per ton on the air conditioner, so there's plenty of air. Uh, and let's see how I do. Okay, I have covered up the gauge set. I'm only going to be using my hand. Now, believe it or not, I actually do this. I don't take a bunch of takes or nothing. This is just the takes that I'm using. And I'm using my hand to do this whole thing. So here we go, I'm going to start adding charge. Understand, this thing is, you know, it's at least two pounds low on charge. Now using the scale, I'm putting it in with gas, and I'm just going to hold my hand right there. I'm not going to leave the camera on uh, for this job. Uh, probably it will take about ten minutes. But I'll love uh, when this thing gets up to where I think it's right, then uh, I'll double check everything and we'll see how close I can. Okay, I think I've got it. We should be pretty close here. I'm going to take the cover off and we'll see just how badly I screwed up. Okay, 14 point, oh my goodness, I come really close. Uh, I'm going to have to redo the target superheat, but I think it was about 15. That was actually closer than I thought. Oh, well, they'd be announcing so off. Uh, let me go ahead and do that uh, target superheat again, and we'll, uh, we'll see if it's changed. Okay, I've recalculated the target superheat. I'm at 14.4 and it's 15.9. Uh, I'm usually not quite that accurate. I'm usually plus or minus two ounces. That one I got lucky on. Maybe I do another one, won't be so close. Maybe I'll do another one just to see and I'll publish it too. But uh, I didn't fake this. This was all just done just exactly the way I said it was going to be. No scale, no gauge set, uh, not even the temperature across the coil. But, should you do this? Uh, you probably really better know what you're doing first. I've been doing this almost 40 years now. So, uh, yeah, I can tell usually by my hand if I've got a plugged indoor uh, coil or a plugged filter or low airflow. So, yeah, I'm not always right on the money on this, but I'm usually pretty close, but it really takes a long time to do. This is just kind of an exercise to show you. I think I'll do one more and uh, I'll see if I screw it up a little worse.